it's Julian and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make industrial techno kicks like Face Fatale, KRTM, and I Hate Models among many many others. Pretty much any style of industrial you can think of we're going to be covering in this video. Now to go along with this video, I've just dropped a new sample pack called 20 Industrial Kicks Volume 2. The link is right at the top of the description. It's available on my van camp. And what this is, is it's 20 industrial kicks in the style. I'll play you them. We got this one. That one's cool. It's just a bunch of super super hard hitting kicks in this style and yeah you get 20 of these to work with and then what you also get is this industrial rumble rack which we're going to be talking about today i'm going to be using this to explain how you do this style of a kick so you get that rack so you can make your own industrial kicks out of any a kick that you can find and then on top of this there's also 20 bonus percussions in here which you can hear you know they can be hard a lot of times I, hear, I feel like to get this kind of like hard hitting industrial percussion which you can hear there's a ton of just really great stuff in here for you to work with so you don't have to look far you know using this little pack which is available for very cheap on my van camp you can get started and really make some powerful strong professional sounding industrial techno right away so yeah link to that is right at the top of the description on my van camp I don't make a whole lot of money off of these videos so this is a really great way to support me and keep this whole thing going so I can keep making these videos and bring you guys awesome content but yeah so what we've got here like I said it's at the top of the description what we've got here in front of me is I have this kick I'll play this for you So this is the type of kick you want to start with. You can see we're at 138 BPM and this is no processing. Both of these effects are turned off here. And yeah, you just want this like big, punchy, techno kick like this. You know, any of the samples like you hear from my videos. Or just like a nice punchy kick like this. This is what you want to start with. It's just sounding very full and fat sounding. The punch is through a lot like this. And so the first thing here is going to be this audio effect track. So this is the way that we create this sort of industrial kick. What this is, is it's two chains. We have a dry chain, which I do have a little bit of saturation on there. So that's just the punch. And then we have the rumble. And so the way that you make this rumble, and the way that you create this sort of industrial tail, because this isn't the same as a standard rumble kick. A standard rumble kick would be these things, and then, like, not this. But this is a little bit different. The way that you create this is essentially just using delay. So you create this delay chain. Just 16th notes. Like that. You could even do, like, dotted 8th notes. Or even just regular eighth notes if you want. What you do is you get that and then you put that through some distortion. And then you put this auto pan on here, which you can see I have this on quarter notes and then the phase is at zero. So it's just keeping it so it doesn't get in the way of the kick. And then there's this rack. And this is how we get the industrial side of this. What this is, there's without it. And then with it, you can hear, it's able to give us that kind of distortion like you can't quite get just distorting the delay with one distortion. What this is, is it's multi-band processing. So you can see, we have an EQ3 on here. We have three EQ3s. We have this one. I'll solo these just on their own. This one. And then this one. So you can see we have the lows, the highs, the mids, and the lows. And then we're just processing them all a little bit differently. Like the lows are actually completely dry. We just keep those how they are. And we have the mids like this with this amp on here. You can switch this to anything too. That's the cool thing about this technique is that you can play with these different amp settings here. And you get a whole bunch of different types of kicks. And then on the highs, we have that being distorted differently as well, because typically, the thing that's going to sound really good on the mids 
it's gonna sound not as good on the highs usually. So this way, we're able to get this really specialized sound and really dial in this industrial rumble. And then also it allows us to keep the low end good because this is another thing is that like a lot of times when you make these kind of kicks and you try, you know, say like we just put some distortion on it. Like say I just grab an overdrive and put this on here. See how the low end gets all messed up with that? But this way we can keep the low end fine. And still process our mids and highs a little bit differently to get that crunchy sound. So yeah, that's the secret right there. It's just that multi-band processing on the rumble. And like I said, if you want this one, the link to this rack is right at the top of the description. But yeah, that's how you do it. And then the only other really thing after that that you need to do is just something to like glue it all together. Like you can't just have this because it's just not quite punchy enough yet. You need something that's like some type of saturation and maybe even a little bit of compression if you do want to do that. But something to just kind of like glue this rumble to the kick. So that's what this drum bus is doing here. Here's without it and then I'll turn it on. So now you can hear when we turn it on. It gives us that extra little bit of oomph to really make the kick punch properly and to really bring out the rumble. You know now I feel like the punch and the rumble of the kick are even. They have an even place in the mix, and it just sounds like one thing coming together to make the kick and the bass line, and not like, you know, multiple things like this. And when you listen to these kicks that I've created, and like the type of kicks like you hear in these tracks, you know, they need to, it needs to kind of have this like fullness to it. So that's the purpose of this, and you can even do more, you know, maybe we could act like the boom. And yeah, so you can see, you know, it's really not that hard. It's a pretty standard sort of rumble like you would do with other styles of techno. It's just instead of filtering it, you're just doing this multi-band distortion to really get that like crunchy, distorted kick that still has the punch to it and still has that fullness without just being like you know fully distorted so yeah that's gonna be it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed as always make sure to like this video as well as subscribe and let me know what you think this video in the comments like i said in the beginning you can get this new sample pack right at the top of the description on my band camp it's just 15 dollars and if you guys want to support me it's a great way to do it like i said i don't make a whole lot off of these videos but this is a great way to keep me going and keep it so that I can keep making these videos. Like I said, you get the 20 super hard hitting, nice kicks. As well as this industrial rumble rack so that you can just drop this on any kick and make your own industrial kick. Plus you get the bonus percussion so you can have some percussion to work with that really sounds like some proper industrial stuff. And you pretty much get everything that you need to make a track in the style. Like I said, link to that is right in the top of the description. And uh, yeah, thank you so much guys, and I will see you tomorrow with another video.